Hey everyone, and welcome to Silt. This is a underwater horror game that we checked out a few months ago now, as part of the three random horror games, but now the full game is out. Before we begin, let's look at the wonderful settings. Can I play this with a controller? That might be for the best, I feel. Yes. I don't think it has any subtitles or anything like that, so... Yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's begin the wonderful world of Silt. Big shout out to the wonderful, fantastic, amazing Paul Calhoun. Thank you so much, Paul, for the support on Patreon. Paul's book is a link in the description if you want to go and check it out. Audiobook starring me and Chrism of this book coming soon. So make sure you check it out. Link below. Check out Paul's book. Secondly, shout out to our producer, Alice, of course. Alice, as always, is an amazing nomkin. And hopefully, we're going to be playing some Evil Dead this month. We're going to be playing some more We Were There Forever this month, or however you say it. It's going to be fun. So make sure you check out Alice's channels via the links on screen. And um, let's get into this long play, shall we? In endless depths, Goliaths roam. Beneath the waves and crashing foam. Hunt them down, remove their eyes. For this is where their power lies. A great machine lies deep in wait. Awaken it to seal your fate. So this is the demo area. So hopefully I won't have too much trouble here because we played the demo already. So let's see. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, so in this game you possess the fishies. And as a result, you can possess the little fishy and take control of it to bite the things, which is very numb. As to why our diver, who, I will say our diver looks pretty inhuman, right? As to why our diver has been stuck down there, chained up for a while, I don't know. But I guess we'll see. Can I possess the beaver fish? It's been a while since I've played this guy, so I'm going to forget stuff, but... Alright, and the baby fish can swim past these, I guess? Oh! Oh, of course, I can get to the little narrow gap over here. You stay there, creepy diver man. I will say, first things first, as I said when I played the demo, I'm sure this game is a really unique art style, and it's really gorgeous. It's got a lot of one-hit kill deaths, which are going to frustrate the fuck out of me! Oh shit, did I just... No, 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 come back! God damn it. I had, I had the thing and I pressed the button to depossess it because I didn't realise. So I just get eaten? Yes. But it has a lot of similarities to Limbo. Like, this is very, very similar to Limbo. But underwater.
I'm going to just get these other I think these can kill us, so I just want to get it out of the way a little bit so it doesn't, you know, devour us whole when we're swimming around this way. There we go. Lovely. I opted no for no VTuber for this one as well, because I feel like the atmosphere, you know, kind of speaks for itself, if that makes sense. These are the ones that can eat the diver, actually. And they can also break down the jelly. The jelly walls. But yeah, those can kill me. And very likely will kill me at least a few times. Uh-uh-uh-uh! Get away from me. Bumpkin. God, I'm so used to playing with a fucking Switch controller, and I'm playing with an Xbox controller right now. Oh, I killed it with a headbutt, apparently. Oh! 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 Yeah, I was not exactly expecting that, but that's fine. Let's get this thing out of the way as much as I can. Now I need to possess a little thing. Hopefully I don't die hanging upside down over there while I break these. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Are you fucking kidding me? They spawned back where they were? That's some bullshit. That is some grade A bullshit. Well... This is going to go well for me. I can I can sense it going really well already. That was bullshit. I'm really annoyed about that. That just came out of fucking nowhere. I am so going to fucking die here. A million times. A million times. Maybe even a billion. Okay. Leave me alone. Please don't eat the diver. Okay, I just sort of smashed into him. That's fine. Brilliant. Is it going to spawn directly above me again? Yeah, it did! Oh my god, that's just designed to fuck you, I think. Holy shit. Well, let's get out of here anyway. We did the area. Only one death there, not too bad. Oh, these things are everywhere here. Which is bad for my uh, continued existence. But I'm a little bit concerned about the giant beating heart in the background, obviously. That does look like... Just not the ideal thing to deal with, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Real question is, where the fuck do I go in here? I can't remember. I'll tell you what. Let's possess and see if we can break shit. There we go. A hidden wall. Well, not really hidden, to be fair, because I found that pretty quickly, but you know what I mean. A wall. Come on, little diver. We can go. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on. Come on, little numpkin. Come on. There we go. That wasn't so bad. That was way easier than the previous area, because there wasn't a fish spawning immediately inside me.
Oh dear. I remember this now. Swim, little diver Nomkin, swim. Oh, I wonder what this could be. I'm sure it's a completely innocent thing that I don't have to worry about whatsoever. Let's follow it. Oh my god, it's so pretty and bright. Why wouldn't I follow the pretty and bright ting, everyone? Oh my god. Okay, we have our lap. Wonderful. We also have a giant snake thing chasing us now. Multiple giant snake things chasing us now. Wonderful. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. Oh god, are the chase sequences going to get like Ori in the Blind Forest where I slowly lose my mind and insanity seeps in? I hate Ori, by the way. I hate that game so much. Okay. What could go wrong? So this was the last room that was in the demo. As you can see, there's quite a few things we need to break through here, and quite a lot of puzzles from what I remember. He gets look, he's got a mechanical eye. Which is some bullshit. And that's all I meant to do. And it was fairly obvious, to be honest with you. And I'm annoyed that I didn't realise it. But you never, you, you know, I'm an idiot. I think the technical term is moron. Um, so you know. But there's still a good chance of being killed by like a hammerhead shark thing around here or something like that. So we need, well, we need a hammerhead shark to get through here. So I can headbutt that so it falls on him, I think, from what I recall. I'm assuming there's one up here. I hope there's one up here. Oh, I need another. I need an. Oh, 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 oh. I do know what I need to do. Come here. Come here, little one. Little Chomper. That's his name, by the way. This is called Chomper from now on. Um, num, num. Um, num, 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 num. Is this going to kill me? Move, 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 move. I think that would have killed me had I not moved. Come on. This should hopefully be the end of this. Quickly. Hopefully. Maybe not. What the fuck is this? I can't remember. Did I do good? The answer is possibly. And I'll never know. I am so fucking dead. Oh, I'm not. I'm not dead. Why are you there? Why go in such a stupid fucking place? I hate you so much, Hammerhead Shark Chan. Get out there. Get out. I need you.
Well, <coughs> I guess I don't need him anymore. Oh my god, it's so hard to catch him when they're going away from me. There we go. Alright, I think I need your headbutts a little bit more. Hammerhead Shark Chan, so bear with me. God, he gets so upset. He's such a grumpy boy. There's no need for him to be this grumpy. No, I pressed the wrong fucking button because the Switch controls are the opposite of the Xbox controls. Jesus Christ, that's annoying. Why can't everyone just have the same fucking controller layouts? Did I win? I can't remember if I won. I think I won. I won. Fantastic news. Gulper Eel defeated. Hang on, did I just die? No. The Gulper Eel is defeated. Yes! Feed me your eyeball! I have no idea what's happening. Oh, that was a delicious fucking eyeball. Holy shit. Finally, some good fucking food. Alright, we beat chapter one. First time, uh, in the full version. Oh shit, I'm in control. I thought this was like a cutscene. I guess we have been teleported to a brave new world. Okay, this is really, really creepy. What's that other underwater game that has, like, weird underwater ruins as you're a diver? Oh, fuck, that's gonna bother me. The one where you make friends with a shark in the end? Oh my god, what's his name? Oh my god, that's gonna- oh my god, I- I- I-, I, I that's gonna actually bother the fuck out of me. I don't think this is the right way, but we'll- we'll- we'll try. My controller is vibrating. I'm not entirely sure why it but vibrated around here. I'm being sucked. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing. Wonderful. Let's try the top way. I don't think either of them is probably right. Like, maybe we need to go around this? But I don't- Oh! Well, cutscene's playing now, so I guess that solves that. I'm going to sneeze. You ready? God, that hurts so much. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd, I'd do this. I, yeah, this doesn't seem like a great idea. Oh, we went inside. Some terrifying ancient ruin. Okay. Alright, so an ancient civilization lurks below the water with creepy whatever these are. Goat people. Underwater goat people. Love them. This one's shaped like a diver. Beautiful. Don't know if I'm going to activate all those, but I'd assume so. Oh dear. You seeing this shit? You seeing this shit? This is some weird shit. Oh, they're statues. I didn't even realize. I thought it was like piles of like fucking wormy shit. Can I say, I don't like the, um, the dragon thing in the middle here. It's a little bit concerning. There's multiple ways out of this room, presumably to activate parts of the puzzle. 
Oh, maybe not. This looks like a staircase up, but I guess I guess it, it either isn't open yet or or what. Hmm. Everywhere here seems to be closed off, actually. I guess maybe not down this way. Nope, down here too. Okay, well that's really fucking weird. Hmm. Ah, I had to use my power here, in the middle of the dragon. Okay, I guess we have been taken somewhere. We seem to be swimming faster here. Maybe it's just the current though propelling us along a bit because it looked like they were there was a current with the bubbles coming up from behind us. My pro tip, by the way, guys, is never let bubbles um, near your bum. That's it. I have to... Sorry, I'm just pausing a second because I wanted to make sure my recording was still going. Never let bubbles up your bum. Okay. You'll regret it. That's all I'm saying. Oh, fuck me! Oh, what the fuck is that? Huh. Okay, so we've got, like, horrific ink. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Can't possess the plant. I'm not entirely sure about why the ink is there, if that makes sense. Well... There you go. That opened the door, right? So we're all good. Right. I guess put a little fish there and see if that makes a difference, right? That could be like a, a potentially easy solution. This, we might be too far away here, we'll see. I don't like the weird squid ink thing though, it's pretty uh... Whatever, whatever that is, I don't like it. Come on, come on, up here. Come on. There you go. Just had to feed something to it. I feed an innocent numkin to a bumkin and progress. That's how this game works. Oh my god. Did it kill it? it looks like it killed it, eating that. Was it because it had the ink in it or something? Were they like tainted by the ink when I went past? I've no idea. Probably gonna kill me, I wanna see if this kills me. Eh. Okay, Possession Novice is the trophy I just got. Fantastic. Oh, 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 oh! Spicy! Holy shit! No idea what I'm doing here, by the way, or what, what I'm gonna gain. I need to clear a route through those things, though, right? 
If I do this, do I get the whole school? I do. So let's see if we get that we hit get hit by this. Yeah, so we're tainted by that. So you've got the, the shit following us. And then we just dive through this and a bunch of us get eaten. Is that what's gonna happen? And it's gonna kill all the plants. Yeah. Got the trophy, toxic. I am pretty toxic, yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so far that all, so far puzzles have been decent, but have made sense. You know, nothing too weird, nothing too bum. I've heard they do get a bit bum later on. Some of the reviews on Steam were pretty upset about like the finale puzzles and stuff, but that's what other people's playthroughs are for. Huzzah. Don't like the look of that thing over there, by the way, just for the record. Can I not be that? It's okay if I can't, but I'm just curious. Alright, doesn't look like it'll let me be it. Okay, interesting. What the fuck is this? I mean, it's gonna kill me, but I'm curious what it actually is. That is horrific. It's like an underwater bird. Oh, let's feed this to the bird. That's horrible. That is actually really fucking nasty. I got the trophy bird feed. There's something very disturbing about a giant fucking tree underwater with killer birds in it, if I'm perfectly honest with you. You haven't got anything else to feed to the others, so, um. God, which way do I go though? There's like multiple routes now. I'm scared, guys. I don't like having to have a fucking decision. Do I need to find more food, do you think, and bring it back? Oh god, whatever this place is, I fucking hate it. Did I mention that I'm absolutely shit scared terrified of, uh, of underwater stuff? Okay, so we can't have too many of these latch onto us at once. Which is fine. Like, it's not a big deal. Generally speaking, I wouldn't want a horde of lampreys attached to my body, draining every second of my blood for hours either. So, you know, fair play. Question is... Well, I can be one. No, I can't be one. The question is, do I need to find a big one and bring it back with me? That would be the common sense thing, right? What the fuck is that? Alright, this is like a light fish. So there seems to be a bunch of light fish here. Will the lampreys attack this? I'm just curious. No, and in fact, they run away from the light. By the looks of things. Which is interesting. I'm pushing them towards me, which I'm a little bit concerned about, but uh, yeah. Let's check down here. Okay. So there's what the one we need. Okay, we've got bit by two there. Get on my head. Get on my head. I 
Unfortunately, I'm going to die here, but at least I know what to do now. The lightfish follows you, you see? Which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, I died. But I get the premise now, at least. I had... I drove them onto myself like a complete, absolute moron. Um, but I do understand. So I need to possess a lightfish briefly so it becomes my buddy and follows me around. What should we call the lightfish? Let's call it Jim. It's a good name for a fish. Good Jim is a good name for everything, if I'm honest with you. Or Keith. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, I can get them off me. I can get them off me. Oh, oh shit, this is great. This is great. This is great. This is great. We have a friend, and I got it off me. So I can possess them and get them off me. If it's just one. Come on. Give me the suck. Give me the suck. Yes! Alright. Okay. Alright, Jim. No! You fucking asshole! I hate these things! Oh, there's so many of them, and they're not. Jim isn't getting scared off this time. How am I gonna get past these? What a fucking asshole they are. I hate them. I hate them so much. Jim, you gotta do a better job, otherwise, I'm gonna get angry. Don't let me down, Jim. Don't let me the fuck down. The fucking th the problem is they're everywhere, and they're really dangerous. And if one bites you, you're pretty much fucked once you've got the thing on your head. No. Are you fucking kidding me? I hate you so much. I hate you all so much. Fuck off. Get off me. Get the fuck off me, all of you fuckers. God, I hate you so much. Alright. Here's the plan, okay? Jim, come here. Jim is gonna fucking scare the shit out of these guys all the way up to the top of the cavern, okay? That- the fact that you can't go past that when it looks like it's in the fucking background is insane. Uh, anyway, um, up. All of you, especially you two, especially you, I see you! If any one of you fuckers comes my way, I'm gonna fucking kill you, okay? You! You! Fuck you! Fuck you! Alright. They're still coming down. There's, there's like little, little rogue ones that are just rebelling. You see them? You see these little rogue ones? These little fucks? Alright. Okay, get on my fucking face. This thing doesn't do damage to me, from what I can tell. No. All of you just fuck off. No. No. I got one. I got one on me. No, I got more than one. Because they're everywhere. They're- they I can't escape the fucking things! Go, loading screen, loading screen, loading screen. Please get rid of it. Will the loading screen get rid of it? I don't know. Yes, it did. Oh, thank fuck for that. Fuck you. Those things were fucking horrible. Do you want a little treat, baby bird? Do you want a little treat? Ah, delicious, I know. Right, there's two more. I don't know what the fuck I'm getting another two from. Is this tree the source of all the poison? I think it might be. Anyway, we'll go this way now. And hopefully we won't get killed by a horde of fucking lamb freeze. God, those sucked. Those sucked! Okay, I do not like this at all. Okay, I don't see anything we could do there necessarily. I tried possessing it, nothing. God, why does it have to be another horrifically dark area? This game... There's killer plants there. Okay, and they're in if we kill those three plants, that will open. Got it. Well, you guys are clearly part of the solution here. But we need... 
some poison. I mean, I thought we had to be careful with these as well, because the spikes are going to whittle them down, right? It's very hard to keep track of which one you're playing as, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Like, we've lost a few. We've lost like five or six at the moment. A lot more there. Great. Wonderful. Alright, now we need some poison. Okay, here's the poison. Is this going to be enough to kill the plants? I guess we'll find out in a second. Yes. Can I get through there as the diver and get the point? Can I jump from the shoulder fish into the diver is probably a safer question. Come here, come here guys, come on. Come on crew. Let's try that. I feel that's a safer option. Don't you think? I think it is. I don't know what that thing is, by the way, with the diver's like head like that, but you know. I'm guessing it's like a collectible. There's another path over there where I'm guessing the other lamprey we need is. Is that what they're called? I don't actually know. I need to be careful here, but not. I don't need to be as careful. I say as I just wipe myself out before I even get there this time. Look at that lamp for having a great time. It's having a great time. Nah, the diver needs to come here. Alright, in that case, let's just do the bird first, and then we'll come back and try this again once we fed the next bird, alright? I think that's I think that's reasonable to be honest with you. So we don't lose our progress of clearing out the plants and shit. I think I think that's like a good idea for the most part. I've got the Bo Burnham song, a little bit of everything all of the time in my head, because Chrism has been singing it incessantly. Okay. And as a result, it is now in my brain. And I can't escape it. It's never going away. Possibly think that I'm going to die. So one left. I think we know where that is. Does this count as like a boss? I don't actually know. I also have absolutely no idea how long this game is going to take. Like there are people saying it takes took them like an hour to two hours. People were saying it took them three to four. I guess it depends on your degree of incompetence. And my degree of incompetence is very high. I'm going to be real with you guys. So, seven hour video? I think we're both for that. Alright, I'm going to risk going for this. I, I think these are just collectibles, but... We'll give it a try, okay? I'm actually genuinely scared. I'm doing this really slowly, as you can see. I'm not going to sprint.
obviously we need to get the back the fuck out out of here as well at some point as well, which is uh, wonderful. <laughs> I almost made it, and then I peeled my fucking eye. We made it to here. No idea what that does, if anything. Maybe it helps us get the true ending or some shit. I've got to get back out now though, which in itself is not easy. But I'm determined to make this none, guys. I'm determined to do it. I will say, by the way, there's a lot of horror stuff coming out this month that looks pretty interesting, especially The Quarry, which is out pretty soon on the 10th of June. Um, that's going to be uh, from the Until Dawn developers, and it's their next big budget project. Their first one since Until Dawn, actually. Because um, the Dark Pictures anthology, while the last two installments have actually been really good, um, they are pretty low budget, comparatively speaking, to uh, Until Dawn. And The Quarry is their next, like, big, you know, their big one. All right, that doesn't look good. All right, we need one more lamprey. One more delicious, okay, I don't like this big area. Oh no, we're, we're by the tree. Oh shit. I was excited for a minute, I was moistened. All right, so where the, okay, up here? We need one more. That just looped around, actually it was, it was pretty good design. <laughs> Didn't expect uh, like things connecting and stuff. All right, yeah, this must be where where this is. All right, so let's let's see what we can do with. Uh... This is designed to be fast, so it can get past them with minimal fuss, right? But then we're gonna need a shoulder fish to get rid of all of those. I don't even know if we need to get rid of all of those, really. There's the lamprey. Um, is that what they're called? I've probably been calling them the wrong fucking thing the entire fucking time. Oh, why did I do that? Why am I a moron? Why am I a complete total moron? I pressed the wrong button again. I never actually figured out what that thing's special ability was. And I just realized, if we kill this one here, it'll probably open that up, right? That's what we need to do. Kill that particular one, so it opens up that route. So I'm going to have to go in and out again here, because I can't possess it the wall, which is really annoying, but makes sense in terms of like a puzzle solving mechanic. Um, but yeah, as a professional failure at puzzles, it always it impresses me how I can fuck this shit up. Coming up to like 50 minutes of gameplay nearly, right? There's no way I could have done this in an hour. I can't, loads of reviews that said an hour, you're wrong. Like, I don't think I've been too, like, hardcore stuck either, right? Like, it's been too- it's not been- not been bad. Right, here's the poison. Get poisoned. Poison me, daddy. Ooh woo. Alright. Now, don't get eaten by any of these fucks. Can't afford to be eaten by any of these fuckers. Then this one here, eat me. Come on. I haven't got all day, fucking do it. Thank you. 
By the way, I really like that those speary fishy things that don't kill me. Makes me very happy. There's enough that can kill me in the game as it is. Come on! That's right, the suck is here. All right, we've got to feed one more lovely little baby bird and everything's gonna be numb. Let's fucking roll. I love feeding the baby birds, it's so, it's so numb. The adorable baby birds with their little chirpy chirpy faces. Where is the baby bird? There it is. Um, perfect. I don't like the fact that baby bird is part of the tree, by the way, it's very fucked. Maybe a chase coming up, or a boss fight, or, okay, oh dear. I will say this game does need more tentacles. This is a boss fight. Do I get sucked? Oh, I see. I see. At least I'm assuming that's what I need to do. Just poison it as much as possible. Right? That would make sense. I'm assuming I'm not going to poison myself and feed myself to it, because that would... I would say that would be a, like a pretty big negative, you know? You know, a, a general downside to the whole situation. Problem is, he's eating quite a lot of fish. Maybe all of them. Yeah, there isn't many left. I did this in the worst possible fucking place. Did I win? I did not win. This was not a win, this was a lose. <laughs> okay, they spawn in more. All right. All right, it's here already. Like, we keep to the side so we don't get the suck. And we poison it a shitload. That has to be what we have to do. It doesn't work this time, guys. If at first you don't succeed, look up what you have to do. That's the rule. Come on, suck! Suck me! Yes! These ones too, come on. All of them. God damn it, you fucking arsehole. You gotta suck as many as possible. You don't suck the suck. How are you gonna survive? Suck. No idea if that's actually doing anything. Like, he doesn't seem to be like, oh, phew, that hurts a bit. All this toxic stuff in my veins. He seems to be more like, oh, well, you know. I was born from poison. I will live in. But I am one with the poison. I'm like, no, it's poisson, not poison. Yeah, you're saying fish wrong. That was one of the worst jokes I've ever done in my entire life. Um, so please forgive me for that. All right, the moment of truth. I can't think of a fish bump for truth, sorry. Oh. 
think I won. Kraken Tree defeated. Kraken Tree, huh? That wasn't so bad. The whole mechanic of this whole area was like the toxic poison shit, right? Not bad. All right, second area clear. What untold horrors await us next, though? This seems to be like a weird, like, dimension hopping shit thing. Why is it? Why is it getting? Why? What's happening? What's going on? I guess that means I can't go that way? I thought it was something cool happening. It looks like when you're going away, you can't go. The controller vibrates. Oh, I say can't go. Shouldn't go. The problem is the game has absolutely, in these sections, no, no directional sort of like... Clues. Okay, this looks... I say promising, that's the wrong word. Terrifying? That's the right word. A little bit of everything. Shut up! It's not my fault, okay? Blame Chrism, okay? She is a nomkin, but she can be held accountable occasionally. Alright, here's the next one of these. Okay, cool. And now I knew to get in front of the point instead of running into the side of it, like last time. It's even better. Into the beak of joy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No evil laughter. Apparently it makes me really throw up. Alright, so this is the third section. I don't know how many sections there are. Right? This is probably going to be similar, right? It'll take us to a ruin, and we'll line up with the ruin, and then we'll te teleport it to a new area. And we'll be happy. I don't like that one. That one in particular makes me uncomfortable, for the record. I don't like it. I am like any of them, actually. Fuck this. This place is a lot bigger than the last one as well. Which again makes sense, I guess. I am curious as to why, like, we're here. And any of this is happening. Obviously, it's one of those games with like minimal minimalistic storytelling. And by minimalistic storytelling, I mean there isn't any. It's pioneered by Dark Souls out. Oh, okay, we're back here, just from a different angle. And there's the Kraken Tree. Oh, I see. Alright, well, we'll line up again. This could mean that. There's only four areas, because there's only one other exit to this room. I mean, I'm fine with that, but I was just curious. Yeah, there's the two bosses ticked off on the side of the submarine. I just realized that. Okay. So this is the third area. I wonder what the mechanic's going to be here. It looks much more industrialized than the others. I 
I'm hoping. Hoping. Alright, we have some rays. Do they kill me? Let's just test this out. If they kill me, it's fine. I just want to test it out. Doesn't look like it. Possession journeyman. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So they can... What? What? Okay. So their ability is they're really, 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 really good at... They do, they do a dodge. Can they dodge through walls? They can dodge through walls. Okay. Interesting. I have absolutely no idea where I am right now. <laughs> okay, that's a cool ability. But what does it get us? Because I'm not seeing anything here that I should be dodging through, at least immediately. I did that on purpose for once. Oh, okay. I see. I'm an idiot. There you go. But the how do... How, oh, okay. I've got to find a button. Yeah. The, oh, these are electric eels. I can't jump to them, right? Or can I? Yeah, I can. I got the trophy electrified. Alright, so I need to find another thing to turn on, maybe? I don't even know if this is on, to be honest with you. It's very hard to tell. It doesn't look very on, but that... There you go, I had to do it a bit more. Okay, cool! Powering machines. Gotcha. There we go. You possess the leather. Yeah, we definitely don't... We seem like a machine, right? We're definitely a machine. I don't want to go too near the electric hills. I'm guessing that's probably exceptionally bad for our health. I don't know if they will attack me after getting through the puzzle. Don't really care, actually. I'm not going to find out for now. If we get a chance to test it just after a save point, I'll test it, but uh, until then I'll be I'll be wary. Okay, so far so good. Puzzles seem fairly straightforward here. Alright, another electric. I mean we might as well test out the death here, right? Alright. Seems fairly good. Yeah, he doesn't seem too bothered about that. Alright, so what am I doing? Oh, this is a really small room. Okay, that was relatively easy. I don't want to do that, I want I want the button. Thank you. Onwards, okay. Got the idea of this section. Electrify things, be happy, win. Oh, fuck's sake, like I keep pressing the wrong button. I need to just get a Switch controller for my PC. Because I only play PC like. Oh my god, I, I do this constantly. I only use my PC for work, so like. Okay, I think I did it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! That's an interesting looking thing. Okay, that one's fine, but the next one looks a bit... Oh, hi, Krabs! Can we be you? Alright, what's the crab skill? Oh, it jumps, okay. What does the crab skill? God, I'm old. <laughs> I 
feel like this being here is a si the other crab being in the way is a serious obstacle here. Alright, hang on. God, the jumping is shit. I'm not entirely sure how to do this. Because whatever I do, I kind of clip into things. There we There we go. That worked well. Better than I possibly imagined, actually. I, I possessed the crab, didn't I? Because it's standing on the fucking button. There we go. Alright. Puzzle solved. I played it like a, a, a game with a little robot that flew around years ago. I think it was called Unmechanical. This reminds me of that, but like, far more horrific. And I've got a crab here. Okay, just a bunch of crabs. Probably useful for something. Let's just borrow one and see what happens, alright. Can I just say the jumping in this absolutely sucks? Okay, why why did it work that well that time? Go 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 go. Alright, just keep going. We got a shortcut. So let's take that, ride that down. Yeah, one of you guys can come with me. I don't care. If you want to ride, if you want to ride the shoe puff, that's fine. Fuck's sake, it's really hard not to possess the wrong thing though. I'm constantly possessing the wrong thing here. Get in the lever. Oh my fucking god, game. Give me a fucking break. Holy shit. I can't even aim at it. Off, get off. Just get off the fucking thing. Get out of the fucking way, crab fuck. I, I can't possess the lever. It just won't let me. It just wants to do the crab so bad. Fuck you, crab. Fuck you. I hate you. I fucking hate you. Okay? Go away. We're not friends anymore. Alright, Ray. You're up, okay? You better fucking do this for me, okay? You owe me, alright? I'm not quite sure what for, but you do. Alright. So this is the wall, yeah? Yeah. Well, that fucking sucks. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Probably should have done that. That was probably a, I would say, a net loss doing that. Okay. Right, so the fans, unsurprisingly, kill. So there's got to be something else around here. Oh, can I just... I can just jump through the fan, right? Oh my god. The problem is there's a delay between your abilities. And you get pulled up. So you've got to time it just right. This is going to be a bullshit thing to do. Okay. Suck a dick game. I was not under that. Alright. Got to focus up here. I'm, I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry. Because I hate repetition. When I get angry, I fuck up. Alright, so here's the plan. We stand here, and we teleport once, then we, we don't touch anything. There we go. Is that a lever? I 
It is. Yes! We made it to a leather. Shortcut exposed. Now we can continue. That actually wasn't that bad. I, I was just being a bubba. A bubba! I will say, so a lot of people say they had constant game-breaking bugs in this. I haven't experienced any bugs yet. Um, everything seems to be working as intended. But you never know, I guess. Still hate you, crabs, by the way. You let me down. You let down the team. Alright, oh, it's the end of this section. No, it's not. Huh. What the fuck do I do here? a wall. Huh. I genuinely have no idea what to do now. Everything else seems to be completely offline. Huh. That's... Like, so far the route's been very clear on what to do, but this is not clear at all. And there isn't one down here. Very strange. Can't possess anything in that area, either. And you can't ride the- you can't, like, send the elevator down and shit like that because, like, it's in, like, a cutscene. So what I can think of is potentially getting one of the crabs to, um... To come up here. I can send it down without being inside. I'm an idiot. No, don't you both. If you fuckers had done that, I would have been so angry. Come here. Like, I don't really get how the jumping works in this, if I'm honest with you. But now I need to get down there without dying to get it up. And if I die here, I lose everything. Which is a serious problem for my chances of continuing to play the game. No. No. Bad king. Alright, cool. I think this is gonna work. Once we get the fucking crab out the way, that is once again blocking the buttons with its massive crab vagina. Oh my god, I, I hate them. I abs- I hate them. I hate them so much. I hate them. So that guy better be on top here. I hope so anyway. Almost went off. He almost went off. What an absolute fucking arsehole. Alright, so hopefully if I throw this into the fans, it'll just break them. Because they seem to be like bulletproof crabs, you know? Yep. Progress is made. We can go through the fans now and be happy. I might forgive the crabs now, by the way. I may have forgiven them at least slightly. Alright, next area, cool. Oh god, there's a horde of the fucking lampreys here. Like an like a absolute shitload of them, look. Stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low. I'm not edible, fuck off! Well, I'm just getting absolutely fucked right now while this is going on. While this cutscene is playing, which is really dumb. Leave me alone! Okay, I got the trophy Mince Leech for that, by the way, but I didn't really... I didn't really see a lot of mincing going on. No idea. 
if this is right, by the way. I just hate those lampreys so fucking much because they're just, they just sort of gangbang you to death and it's just like, you know. Like, if, if you're going to drain blood, at least do it like a sexy vampire way. Y y you know? Alright, that claw looks super sus. Oh, hi. Don't mind if I do. Whatever this is. Oh, there's better crabs. I have no idea what that does. Or, it must be for a trophy, right? Like, it's the only thing I can think of. It's for a trophy. Alright, let me borrow you. Oh, hang on. I can possess the claw? The claw! Oh, I see. Now, where do I want to put it, is the question. Can I take it all the way across? No, so it's got to go down. No idea this is going to work, but enjoy. Alright, we found where to go. Now I've just got to survive. Okay, I think I'll just fuck off in between loading screens like I did before, right? Okay, that was a pretty easy puzzle, comparatively speaking. I wonder what the boss is going to be of this section. Potentially a numkin? Alright, so we've got some things we need to cut over there. Um, this looks like the boss. Hi! That is definitely the boss. I shall call you Jim. Alright, well we're in the boss fight already for this section, so that's cool. Let's keep going. I got this. I'm a fucking pro, alright? I'm just clearing out stuff at the moment. I think I feel like it makes sense to do that, right? Okay, so we have an electric eel here. That we definitely need. Alright. Let's take him round. And see if I can electrocute that too. And if that will get hit the cra Oh god, the crab's landing next to me. I don't... Oh, it's doing something. Hey! I, I don't know if that was good. Or bad. Do you think it's possible that we need to... No, bad crabkin, bad crab. What a bad crabkin! Oh my god, it's unprecedentedly bad. All right, we take the ray again. Let's just open up both ways fully at the very least. Right, that makes sense. Such a bad crabkin! Oh my god, I feel like we have to do both at the same time somehow. Which is, which is doable, I just don't, well, I say doable. I don't know if it's doable actually, but we'll, we'll wing it and see. Definitely need to activate, I think, both at the same time, so it connects both claws at once, and then it causes it to, like, short circuit or something. That's what it's going to be. So let's just test this theory a second. It's going to break it, right? Okay, yeah, we definitely need to do both at the same time. So the way that's going to happen is this. Please, 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 please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. 
All right. Grab the ray. Okay. So, here's what's going to happen. We're going to go over the other side with the ray, okay? We're going to possess the electric eel there before the cutscene finishes, because he's at this side on me, right? It's not like a cutscene, but yeah, before the animation finishes, we're going to jump back to um, the diver, possess the other eel, and do both at the same time. I don't know if it's going to work. The other option is bring the electric eels up here and see if we can power them from up here, but I like my idea better. My idea is fucking dope, to be fair. It's probably wrong, but I like trying, you know. Alright, so we go down here. Okay. This is the plan into action, alright? We possess the eel here, eel champ. Eel champ fires that up quickly. Both at the same time? Could be. Yes! That's what I'm fucking talking about! I'm not sure it's dead. I'm a bit worried. been milling about here for a bit and I've realized that the joints on that thing are electric so let's see if we can take the eel and electrify its body because at least then I'm not directly at risk and we don't have a risk of having to go back on ourselves you know what I mean and, and replay something if this doesn't work for fuck's sake I just managed to close my recording window again so I wasn't sure if I was recording I've been doing that a lot this playthrough I'm very sorry all right you guys ready That worked! Huzzah! Let's go and claim its soul. And bathe in its oil. So this next section, the one after this one, should be the final chapter if that room is anything to go by. There's presumably like a super boss at the end or some shit like we have to fight, but still. Got the trophy, spider crab. Don't mind if I do. Alright, let's go take us to the weird other dimension with the weird ship things. We go in a different ship, we have a great time, we have cake. And then uh, we go to the fourth world. Fantastic news. I'm gonna gamble and say it's gonna be up this one, but I don't know. It'll tell me, it'll be controlled by Bray if I'm going the wrong way, so. Okay, that is definitely the wrong way. Let's try this way. At least I figured out what the controller vibrating actually means. So far, so good. But I don't see the ship. There it is. Fantastic. Well, that went really well, didn't it? And this should bring us into the big, like, picture chamber from the bottom right-hand corner, I think? Or maybe there's a route I didn't notice. That is possible, too, with the top right.
This ruins are definitely ominous. I'm guessing once we've done the next fight or whatever is the next boss, okay, it will activate. Shut up. It will activate like some big fight in the ruins down here. That's all I can think of. Could be completely wrong. I could be absolutely crazy delusional, but that's what I think. Yep, there's a spider crab. All right, take us to the fourth world then, game. Let's fucking go. Uh, I, w I, w I was right, by the way, so there's, there, that was an exit I hadn't taken into account. There is one to the bottom right, too. And that's where we'll come in next time for whatever the final showdown is, or the final world, or whatever. So there could be five worlds. People said the mechanics got a little confusing in the last few worlds. That didn't seem too bad, the last one. Like, I, the, the crab thing confused me a bit, but other than that, like, uh, it wasn't too bad. But, um, maybe this one will be really bad. I guess we'll see. We're definitely powering up some kind of mega machine by defeating these creatures, and I'm not sure that's a good thing. I'm a little wary. And there's a one fourth one at the bottom, then the fifth one's in the middle. There we go. Shoulder fishies here. What can you do for me, little fishies? Not a lot, because we can't go through there. Or there. But we can go left. Looks like we'll be looping back into this room a shitload, essentially. That is really fucked. That is a body but with, like, anemones and shit here, growing out of it. I do like that sort of, like, really fucked up sort of body horror type stuff. I really, I really fucking like that shit. Yeah. Oh! Well! Did not expect that. I can tell you that now. That was not on my list of things that I expected to happen to me. I see it now. I did not see it before. Can I dodge it, do you think? Nope, I cannot. Let me borrow you a little bit more. God, they're so fast! Oh, does that distract it a bit, though? Oh, God, that didn't distract that one. There's like three down here. Holy shit. How am I going to get past these? Wow. Okay, so we're starting to get into slightly more challenging puzzles now. I say slightly. I have fucking absolutely no clue in a million fucking years what I have to do here. So, uh, you yeah, know, it's a good start. Ah, oh, I've got an idea, actually. Can I get, do you think I can get around to the left there? To get to the rays? Because the rays could get past these guys. Okay, me, me, go me, while it's eating. Yes, I can, okay, good. Rays, I'm gonna need you, all right? Okay, so the rays can get past these. Are you fucking kidding me? What is the sort of fucking hitbox on these things? It's insane! All right, it's okay. It's okay, I'm only slightly annoyed. I'm only slightly annoyed. I'm only slightly salty. Silty. Do you get it? Silty? Because it's salty, but it's silt. Do you get it? I, I know. It's good, right? It's fucking great. Oh. Yeah. This is bullshit hard. Okay. That... I went through that. Did you, you, you guys saw Testament. This is bullshit, okay? This is getting bullshit now. Starting to get angry. I, 
you can't jump until it's moved, but you can't jump after it moved. I it's so hard to time. Some top tier bullshit. Because it's so fucking fast. I'm gonna try going on the top. Nope, I didn't even have time to fucking react and press the button then. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just really, really fucking angry. It's okay. I'm just really, 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 really fucking angry. And I absolutely hate this kind of thing. And I hate it. And I hate it. And the game was going great. And then they added this. And it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know how that counts half the time. Okay, we made it, I think. I'm assuming we can possess these, but let's have a quick look around first. Alright. Let's feed one of these to the things. I mean, I don't think it's going to work, but you never know. It worked. But I have to do that every time. Oh boy. That said, the first two are easy to get past than the third was, I think, so we're probably go a bit smoother now. No, we won't. Then we'll just fuck it up, because it didn't fuck- Decided! Actually, I'm not gonna fucking move when I've moved every other time when you're at that angle. But this time, no! I'm not gonna do it! I'm just gonna be a little fucking bitch and sit in my fucking ca cave and wait for my food like a sensible fucking monster. That's fine. It's absolutely I'm not angry. It's fine. Okay? It's just fuck- It's just fucking fine. Alright. Another one's gonna die. I I, I, genuinely, though, killing these is very satisfying because I fucking hate them. Come here, giant testicle. It's a shame I had to go back to the fucking diver every time, but, you know... It is what it is. You, come here. That's right, get fucked. Get fucked. Suck a fucking jellyfish dick. All right. I forgot it was there. <laughs> How many deaths to this one obstacle? Holy shit, compared to everything else in the game. <laughs> like, this is like the bane of my fucking existence. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. I'm only slightly angry. Okay, we, we got it. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. It's dead, it's fucking dead. Everything's dead, okay? I love the fact that it's dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dead, 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 dead. Dead. Alright. Got the testicle. Gonna... <sighs> I didn't know it did that. I didn't know that was a fucking thing. And it didn't do the... Okay. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's... <sighs> My rage is, uh, building. <sighs> I feel the game's just fucking with me now. I feel like this is just fucking with me. I feel like this is just fucking with me. I feel it's just fucking with me! Okay. Remember now, the testicle can't touch anything, because apparently it's made of fucking glass! Alright. Can't touch anything, that's fine. I didn't know that. Because I assumed you weren't so fucking fragile. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna eat this. It's gonna eat this. And the world is gonna- There we go. Fuck you! Die in a fire! Okay. Now. I've got to feed one of these to this one. So I can escape. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Get the fuck away from me. May need one of the little fishies as well, I don't know. Oh, thank fuck. Thank fuck! That was awful. I hated it. 
All right, shortcut. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Is it, we're back in the first area, but now I can go over here with this one and cut the ropes on this side too. Thus allowing me to progress. Amazing. Okay. Okay, so we can't go down. I'm trying to keep an eye out for the for, for more of those because there's this like I'm guessing that's like the entire mechanic here is that. Okay. Okay. I was wrong about that being the entire mechanic here. I was going way too slowly there to avoid it. I don't even know if it's gonna. I, I need to be going full tilt, right? Okay. Okay. How the fuck do I get away with this one? Because I don't have the momentum. This is... Oh, th these puzzles are getting, getting the bullshit. People can't resist it. You're making a game. And you have puzzles that are fun. And then you're just like, well, just gotta throw in some bullshit. Just gotta throw it in. Just gotta do it. You don't do it. Where's the point of the game? Okay. In all seriousness, I have no idea what to do here because I'm got my momentum is fucked when I go this way. And that's gonna get me. What the fuck do I do? I don't know. It doesn't make it. I don't have enough momentum to double back on myself. Like, I'm, my diver is just so fucking slow when he turns. But I don't know how this is going to work. I'll figure it out. But it is really annoying. Because this is like a trial and error. This is, this is very Limbo, this bit. Because Limbo, one of the reasons I fucking hate Limbo is it's very trial and error. Like, a hundred percent trial and error. Yeah, I can't turn fast enough! He's so fucking slow and fat! I'm sorry. I'm a little bit upset right now. Okay, so guys, okay guys, I choked, and I looked at what to do. I don't even know how this is meant to work, but I will attempt to do it. You have to go round that loop, and just slightly duck to the right, and it'll get confused and keep going. But I don't see how. I don't see how, because your character is so slow. And you can't go faster. This is the, this is the max speed of this fucking dickhead. Like, when you round that corner, that's it. That is it. Like, I can't go fast enough to humanly fucking do it. I don't get it. It's- your character is such a slow cunt! He's such a slow cunt. And I don't know how to make him faster. See, as you turn there, you're dead. That's it. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I did it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Suck a fat one. Holy shit, that was obnoxious as fuck. Alright. Let's go in here. And take a ray. And decide what we're doing. No. Game. This. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay. Brilliant. <laughs> can I lure this thing? Because if I can, that'd be fucking great. You gonna come out? Nope. It does not want to come out for me. There's loads of them here, look. There's like three on this side. Okay, fuck. The, the, I keep forgetting there's like a delay, by the way, as well. Like, on the raised powers. Once you've done one, like, uh, you have to wait like a few seconds before you can do it again, which is, to be fair, pretty reasonable. I have no idea what I'm achieving by doing this. If anything, am I achieving anything? I feel like no is the answer, actually. I feel like this is just bullshit. Because I've, I've got... Why would I need to do this? I'm so angry. I'm so... I'm so I, I fucking hate this so much. It's unbelievable. The degree at which I hate this is actually unprecedentedly high, just for the record. Oh my god. I understand what I have to do. I understand what I have to do. I'm dead. I'm completely dead. But I understand what I have to do. I have to do this all over again now. I wanna die! <laughs> this is so bullshit! Oh my god, this whole section sucks! I hate this realm, it's awful! I know what to do now though. I have to double back on myself with the ray. The ray needs to make it past three of them, which is not an insurmountable amount, and at least I have infinite tries at doing that. The problem is doing this bit again, because it's such bullshit. I'm dead. It's so that- this- okay. Guys, I'm gonna be back once I've done the this bit, because I, I can't- I can't tolerate talking over this absolute bullshit, awful fucking section again. Alright guys, I've cut the ropes. Probably gonna die doing this chase though again. Maybe not, maybe I'm alright, maybe I'm alright. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, did I make it? Did I make it? Please, 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 I never want to do this again, please, please, please. That was by far the worst section of the whole game. Just like, just a, uh, oh fuck. I'm so angry that that exists. That made me so upset. All right, let's see what we have to do here. This could be a boss area. We know that these hurt whatever those things are. So let's have a little float around and see. A lot of them here. I guess touching these is probably a bad idea as well. There we go. Okay. Yeah, touching them is a bad idea. And there's a lot of them as well. Obnoxiously placed too. Great. Great. I'm sorry I'm being a bit salty, guys. I, I, I absolutely despise game design that makes you have to practice sections again and again and again. I hate it. <laughs> but we, we got this. We got this. We got this. Just gotta not get touched by a single thing. Obviously. Even though, when I got back in control there, there was one, like, inside me. Go, 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 go. Alright, there's probably more I'm gonna need to break. No, this was the entire screen. Thank fuck. Thank fuck. What is this? Other than really bad news. Looks like this could be a boss. I guess we're about to find out. 
Would you like to eat a jellyfish? Oh my god. The answer is no. I did not realize it was going to come out again. <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to follow me. Yeah. Fucking possess it, you useless prick. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's absolutely fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> this is the boss, I'm pretty sure, though, at least. Are these things- it doesn't want to eat these, so are they friends? I don't know. Where's the other one? Where's the jelly? Come here. Okay, that was entirely my fault. And was uh, one of the most stupid things I've done in a while. <laughs> oh my god, I hope this playthrough's been fun. I think this, I think this playthrough's been fun to watch. Because I'm not as hostile as I have been to some things. You know? I wonder how many times I have to hit this fucking thing. Leave me alone. Where's your little jelly friend? I mean, I guess you're not actually friends, you're like... Colleagues? It's probably a better way of putting it, yeah? down the bottom left of me, bottom right of me. Oh, there's more than one. I didn't even realize. Oh my god, this is hell. I hate this. There's so many of them. And they keep coming. Oh my god, I don't know what to do here. This is going to be awful. All right, one more try and then we'll start cutting. I don't I've been cutting the video just for the record there. I'm not I'm not that annoyed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I'm dead. The thing is, you don't need to even need to get around some of these, though. Like, they're just in, like... Like, I thought we were fighting the same entity, but we are not. That's b such bullshit. That's such bullshit. Alright, guys, I'm gonna looking up a guy. This is... This sort of stuff makes me so upset, I actually can't process how angry I am right now that this exists as a gameplay loop. I'll be back in a, back in a minute. Okay. Alright. So basically, most people suggest sticking to one side as best you can. And... Going as fast as you can down one side, basically. I'm going to try and do it this way. But I might already be dead here. Because I think I stopped at a shit place. But that is 100% my fault if I did. Here we go. Alright, let's go. Let's go, 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 let's go.
please be the end, 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 yes! Okay, that worked well. But we're not done, because that isn't the boss, it's just some fucking little shit that's fucking just watching and waiting and everything. Wonderful. I don't know if this is the boss. Potentially, it looks like we have to do something to open this up. Give it a little, a little, a little coochie coochie. Oh, shut up. All right. Okay, big tentacle coming out of that. I think it must be a plant of some kind. All right. Can I possess this? I can. What does that do? Opens that up. Okay. So if I go here, right, and then possess it again. Will it grow back? Yes. Oh, oh, that was so fucking close. Holy shit. You guys fuck off. I need to get to the diver. Alright, let's get me out of here first, I feel. I don't think I actually can do that without a ray. Give me a ray. Give me a ray, come on. I said a ray! Fuck off! I said fuck off. I said, you there, you, fuck off! Why is the ray so far away? I guess I can do this, right? I just want to get me out away from the explosives for a minute. Okay. And then we can worry about everything else. Let's actually put this back, because we need to get the ball out to try I think we need to blow up this thing, this, this, whatever this is, light tentacle thing. But to do that, I'm going to need two rays. No, no. Oh my god, game! I just held it down, I didn't tap it, I held it fucking down! Alright. Jellyfish, come here. Please out the way, Rose. I don't want to hurt you. You're my friends. You're like the one loyal fucking thing left in this game, alright? Oh my god. Possess it. Now. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Alright. You get the, get the fuck away from this. Ah, there we go. One down, and we got the thing that was in there. Okay, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Now we need to go to the left and deal with the other tentacle, and that's going to presumably open this pod that's in the main room here and reveal the boss, I'm going to guess. Because this definitely seems boss-like. Yeah, there we go.
now. Here's the wonderful plan. We sneak around here, we do a little dance, and we're all happy. We're all fucking happy. Alright, so here's another tentacle that we need to do something about. I'm trying to keep an eye out for those fucking nippy lobster things again. Or the giant glowing penises from the previous section. Ah. Oh. But they grow back. Interesting. Okay, I think I understand what I have to do. If I can reach this from here. I can. You gonna eat it? Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it! Okay, that wasn't that bad at all, that bit. I would have liked some more light mushroom puzzles. That would have been fun. I'd have been good with that. That would have been none. But now we've got this monstrosity to fight. I hate it already. I hate it more than anything I've ever seen in the game so far. I hate it. Oh. Okay, so they shoot. God, that noise is fucking horrific. Holy shit. Oh, that's some smash that uh, splash damage on those. All right, so I have no idea what to do here. So let's uh, let's see if we can break this down a little bit before we have to uh, consult a walkthrough. All right, so the things shoot. I get that, and they have insane splash damage, and they're fast. Great, I love it. I love it. Yeah. That was my love noise. Do you like that? I was like, yeah. Is there anything we can smash into it to make it, like, drop? Uh, how come I could dodge it the first time, but now it's impossible to dodge? I don't know. I was going full speed the first time. No problem. Now it's homing. I seem to have developed a strategy where I might be able to do this. Um, I've been doing this for about 40 minutes, uh, and I'm very upset. Uh, but hopefully, if, like, if, if this continues to work, it's worked a few times now. Oh my god. I don't understand why the splash damage is so small when I do it, but like the size of a fucking island when the game does it. It's the same fucking thing. I don't think we're dying yet. Nope, we're not. Okay, that's the first time I've got a second hit in in, uh, in about 40 minutes. Fine. Please be the end. Please be the end. Three hits sounds good. That sounds promising. Yes! Yes, you piece of shit! I hate this! Holy shit, that was awful. Actually, quite an easy solution when you know what you're doing, but I didn't realise I could grab them, like, so quite so easily, if that makes sense. We are done with the fourth world. Finally! find the final entrance to the ruins. I'm gonna go up first, it's probably wrong, but you never know. 
actually might be right. I think it's the only direction we haven't gone, so it does make sense. Yep, here it is. Fantastic. I'm gonna guess one other world though. It doesn't make sense to not have a final confrontation of some kind. I mean, it would be nice if there wasn't after how annoying that last boss was, but I suspect that the, the true nightmare is just beginning. All right. This should take us up to the bottom left-hand corner of that big room. And we should. The statues, I, I'm pretty sure most of these statues are the same, but I feel like they're getting creepier. They're probably just the same. That one definitely is the same. The, uh, the one with like the diving dumbbell on its head. I'm gonna say it's this way. I am completely wrong. <laughs> I'm going to say it's this way. Well, you're wrong, Minx. In fact, you're an idiot. Where the fuck is the exit? Please don't make this a puzzle. I have been through so much in fighting that last boss. I feel like my sanity is, is hovering on the edges of uh, implosion at this point in time, if I'm perfectly honest with you guys. There is a door right here, isn't there? Yes, I'm just a moron. Has this changed? This has definitely changed. Yeah, this has definitely changed. I thought this was the same one every time, but I'm not actually sure it is. No, it is, because it has the things. Well, whatever. Whatever that was, the plant is now defeated. Awakenings. Well, this giant machine is now turning on, I think. And we'll see what's in the middle. Oh shit, what the fuck are all these? There's lots of us. Is 
So we definitely are machines. I mean, I, I, it's pretty obvious that we were, but there's a lot of us now. I'm not controlling this, by the way. This is all cutscene. The aesthetics of this game really are phenomenal. And here is us. Don't know if I'm in control or not at the moment, it doesn't seem to be. By the way, the game where you make the shark, break friends with the shark in the underground ruins, Abzu, just hit me. I'm sure like 50 people have commented that by now, but Abzu. That's the end. Oh. Okay, let's go through my thoughts. Um, first of all, the positives. It has an amazing aesthetic. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. Um, I really like the stylization and uh, the environments were cool really oppressive feeling sometimes, or well, most of the time, and that's good, okay. Uh, what uh, I also liked was most of the puzzles, I, I really liked the second level in particular actually with the uh, with the birds, I thought that was really cool and really horrific at the same time, I thought that was cool. The third world's really good too actually, uh, first world a little bit abrupt, but you know, it's fine for a starter world. Um, the fourth world really let it down for me, I hate trial and error gameplay and it was just so heavy on it, and everything felt sort of like, just really fiddly and um, like, I don't like it when I'm playing a game and it feels like the controls and the game are working against you for the most part. Like even when you play a From Software game, for example, the controls, at least to me at least, feel responsive and smooth. But in this game I felt like I was really fighting against the controls nearly all the time. Um, which hindered my enjoyment, I would say, a significant amount. Um, it's not awful. Um, it's just frustrating, I suppose is the best way of putting it, especially by the fourth chapter. You could easily get through the first three without getting that frustrated, same, same as I did. But the fourth one is just bad, if I'm honest with you. Like, it's not fun, it's just frustration. Um, which is a shame because it's the climax of the game. Um, so, you know. Uh, but generally speaking, this wasn't a bad experience. I'd give it like a... I'll give it like a six. Like, it's just... It, it's it's not direct enough in its storytelling for me to like it very much, in terms of its plot, but in terms of aesthetic and the first three areas, uh, I really did like those, so it gets points for that. It's just, I don't know. I, I feel just by its fine, the design of its finale, it, it it's kind of it kind of fails a bit, you know. Um, but overall, not like a terrible experience or anything, and. Um, I probably missed some stuff that was hidden away. I don't know if I got all the divers and things like that. I tried to, but I don't think I did. Um, and I thought it was uh, a reasonable little experience. My final playtime is going to be, I'm just having out to see, about three hours. Uh, but most of that was spent on the fucking plant boss that I didn't realise I could possess the things immediately out the gate, which made it a million times easier. Um, yeah. It, I was like, my reactions just must suck, because I'm seeing people on YouTube grab the balls uh, just out of the air from miles away and stuff. I couldn't do it. And then I found somebody who posted like a video that was like, uh, easy way of doing it. And I was like, oh, thank fuck. That saved me. I'm not sure I would have beaten it if it wasn't for that video, if I'm perfectly honest with you. So, um, yeah. But yeah, you know. I guess I'll let the credits play out in case there's a scene after them, but otherwise, uh, I think that's it from me. 
I hope you enjoyed uh, my salt. I think for the most part, I wasn't I wasn't super angry until the plant boss. I was fairly annoyed by some of the sections, but it was quite funny, I think. But the plant boss tested my patience a lot. Um, overall, though, like, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing to our Patreon. There's a link in the description. You get early access to videos just like this one, as well as other cool content. There's private streams. You can get customized shoutouts. Um, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of cool stuff that you can do. So uh, please, please, please consider checking it out and subscribing if you enjoy these long plays. And uh, there's a lot more to come this month. Um, trying to get into a regular upload schedule. Ideally, I'd like to get an upload out every day, but I think that's going to take a bit of time, so I'm aiming for every other day at the moment, and then we'll, uh, we'll build up from there, hopefully. If I can get a month where it's out every other day, then maybe in July we'll have a month where it's every day. We'll see. Anyway, have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing day, everyone, and I, Minx, will see you soon for more terrifying adventures in various locations. Goodbye.